vlogmas day 15 can you guys believe there's only like five more days of vlogmas crazy um guys i'm sick so uh this vlog will probably be really boring but i'm just forewarning you guys because yeah i feel kind of bad um i went to school obviously because like you know no excuses I need to go there and do what i need to do it's also that time of the month which really sucks as well and uh yeah we have a quiz on or test on some muscles which i showed you guys in the study with me vlog i know them all at least the ones that i think i need to know <laughs> um so i'm good with that so i'm gonna just take it easy i need to throw in some laundry so i'll vlog that um and then i also got some medicine so my teacher, she recommended, sorry it's so dark, I don't really want to turn on the lights because like, again, my head hurts. Um, I know, first world problems, but you know, uh, it kind of sucks and bright lights hurt the little eyes. So anyway, I got the Terraflu, um, daytime and nighttime, so I'm going to like read the instructions and stuff and take this and I need to edit the vlog. Uh, to post it today and after I edit the vlog. Yeah, I don't even know I'm probably not gonna do anything because I just feel not good whatsoever Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out. Okay guys we meet again here but as you can see, now I can like actually sit at the bar and use the bar stools, which is really good. The medicine actually really worked. Um, I took a nap for probably like an hour and a half or two hours, I don't know, but I feel a lot better. I'm gonna take the night one at 10, which is like almost 9.30 now. But um, yeah, I'm feeling better. I still don't feel that well, but um, gonna take the night one. And I feel like I failed Vlogmas again today, but it's fine because I literally just slept. I did, however, apply to this, like, to get this scholarship thing. It's a $1,000 scholarship, and it's, like, a really good opportunity. So me and some classmates all worked on it and everything. Apparently, there's only six people that get it. It'd be really helpful to get it just because I'm paying out of pocket for health insurance and, like... I don't have a job right now. Well, this is pretty much my job, but still like it would just be really nice because your girl's views are not doing so hot. So I literally get paid like 250 from YouTube. So yeah, there you go, I said it. So anyway, I'd be struggling over here. I'm going to read my paper for you if you care to listen. Um, but yeah, we had to basically get a letter of recommendation from a teacher, which hopefully he has it tomorrow. Um, it's, the director, it's the director of our program. Um, he's gonna write it, I guess. And then we needed transcripts, which it's really weird, the transcripts at my school. It's not like an actual college where they give you like the sealed envelope of like, I don't know, you guys know what I mean. It's, not, it's very different. And then a printed schedule. So today I paid for next semester so I got the schedule that said like paid on it so I made a photocopy of that to turn in um, to the person that we're supposed to be turning it into and then we had to write this paper the paper had to cover like different points and stuff so this one is mine I'm gonna get rid of my student ID just so you guys won't see that I'll show you after but um, my paper reads as a recipient of the scholarship, I would be able to provide more financial, more support financially to my family. I would also be able to afford and pay for my health insurance to have coverage during my educational program. Receiving my certification in surgical technology would be my short-term educational goal, and receiving my certification in surgical technology first assisting would be one of my long-term goals. I am looking forward to becoming a surgical technologist first assist in the future because honestly, like I probably will want to further my education and further my career in this just because why not? Um, you get more scope of practice and stuff if you're a first assist. I have attended the University of Central Florida and have ha and have 
held leadership roles in a pre-medical club. As a director, I would promote our club, volunteer at nonprofits, and attend events related to the medical field. One of my biggest challenges I faced has been life taking me in a different direction for a few years because of my creative side i spent time focusing on graphic design and video production which has helped me cultivate skills i will bring with me to my future career in medicine i've also been active in our community as a young teen i volunteered at oca a special place for special needs for more than five years i had different roles from a counselor in training to a full-time counselor even though my last employment caused a detour from my pursuit of a career in the medical field. I worked as the community affairs director for a local TV station. In that role, I worked closely with nonprofits in our community from producing the virtual community rainbow run for the benefit of the One Pulse Foundation to working on the set of the Emmy Award winning Toys for Tots National PSA. I have been able to integrate my passion for people with my skills as a digital media producer. I know that was kind of like a mouthful, but that was my little essay. I don't know if I'm gonna get the scholarship, hopefully, cause like I need it. But that's what it looks like. My word, my like word app is like dark because I think it's because I have dark mode on, but it printed out like normal and whatever. But yeah, that's the essay. It was like a 300 word essay, so like, it didn't, I mean, it wasn't that hard. And that's like, you didn't have to do a law for the scholarship. So honestly, that's why I'm doing it. It's like a thousand dollars too. So I'm like, why not just try if I get it great. If I don't, it's okay. But at least I can say I tried and stuff. So yeah, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. Definitely a sick day. Definitely did nothing today except for like sleep <laughs> and take medicine. Um, I also wanted to do a quick review on the Thera Flu A+. I really like it, even though my ears are still like giving me a problem right now. It's fine. Really good. I hope, like crossing my fingers, the nighttime one doesn't like, I don't know. I want to make sure I wake up on time and stuff because I have to be at school, you know, at the normal time. But my teacher said that when like it doesn't, cause you to it just makes you a little tired not like nyquil or anything like that so yeah anyway i'm gonna end this here if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow for my next daily vlog <laughs>